if you wonder why I don't post consistently is that um, I edit every single day for my job. And sometimes I just don't have time with my Instagram is a little bit more focused than my YouTube. The YouTube, I just like to talk about stuff, so I just do it. And so that's why I have a channel. Um, it's not big, it's not growing, it is what it is. And a lot of times I'll just send it to people who want to see it and my friends or um, a uh, platform or something. They want to talk about something and I want it, get some information out and then I'll post it somewhere else or link to it. So. I don't post that much. Keep in mind we do uh, in our group at work. It's just me and my other buddy and we do about 100, over 130 videos a year between two of us. It's a lot and it's a lot more production than any YouTube video. So uh, we're super busy. And then with posting and getting content for Instagram, um, sometimes or most of the time you just don't have time to just film something else. So, but I did want to talk about my uh, JL billet rifles that I'm running now. Um, let me just unload this thing. Oh, it's unloaded. Um, and I know some people have been asking to do a video on it. So, I'll go, this grand thumb says from tip to butt. Uh, this is actually a, um, 16 inch um, chambered in 223 wild this is a ballistic advantage barrel with the oss suppressor um, break on top now if i was going to go for a rifle that i'm going to use and dedicate everything to is probably go 14.5 and then weld and pin this break on there um, but i knew i didn't know what suppressor i was going to run so that's why I went with this because I might be changing devices for different content. So I went with 16 inch so I don't run into any legal stuff. Um, so I would go 14.5 but this is a 16 inch. I run Midwest industry um, sites, uh, iron sights on these. These are amazing sites and awesome people. Um, this does come with a QD point right here in the rail but um, I'm trying out different positions so I usually run it high on this side and I usually run my light on the other side but I don't have a switch on this rifle so I have it on this side so I can just run my thumb when I have my grip up high. So in this one I'm running their bolt carrier um, and uh, Midwest and then I have a Vortex 1 to 10 the unicorn uh, thanks to the guys at Vortex who sent this out. Um, did pay for it, but I got it sooner than a lot of people. So that's pretty awesome. So I, it's running on a Midwest Industries uh, mount. And there's my Midwest Industries backup site back there. Um, I usually run a Radian charging handle on this, but um, I was switching out some charging handles and um, they're just really hard to get right now. So I don't have one on here, but if I was gonna run a better charging handle, it'd be the Radiant, but this is a BCM uh, gunfighter charge handle, it's fine. I just like the Ambi ones. Uh, I have Ambi, Ambi Selector, and this has a um, just a bolt release here on the button, right, right there you to see it there's a bolt release uh, I don't really train with that bolt release because when it's back I don't like I should probably I don't like load it load it and then send it home maybe I should just load it send it home but it's really common for if you see the videos on Instagram I put it in put it in and then instantly just rack Obviously, I do faster than that. So, um, CMC trigger. Um, like their triggers. Um, always like their triggers. Awesome people also. Um, this is a Mission First grip, and I run Mission First magazines. And this is the new Mission First aluminum um, um, buttstock. Now, on the other... Now, I do have another one. Um, a minimalist stock. But I wanted to try this one. Um, 
super slick and it's pretty cool and you can tighten it down and lock it in the place so straight up California legal if you're going to go that way or if this is or if you run a Kelly key or if you run um, fix mag this is a fix mag but uh, you know we'll run fin grip and lock this one down so it's legal we want to run it that way or you go to free state um, the rail covers are just ergo rubber ergo grip and then inside I am running man I wish I had a tool on me since I am running suppressed I wanted to see if it's going to make any difference changing this, any of the cycling so there it is focus it's in focus um, it's basically kind of similar to the JP um, silent capture spring. This has two springs, has like two stages in there. I guess that goes inside your carrier when it's cycling. It has a little gusset right here. It's working fine. Um, Arma spec. It's running fine. I um, haven't had any problems with it. Uh, just testing it out, and so far so good. I'm testing out a couple of different, couple of different ones, but I always wanted to try captured spring like that. So that is my 16-inch JL billet. Now let's move on to my pistol. This is my pistol with the Mission First magazines. Love the mags, love the guys, super, super awesome people. Um, so this is a 10 and a half inch, 10 and a half inch ballistic advantage barrel with the reverse thread OSS titanium suppressor with the flash hider integrated in here. Um, so the great thing about these suppressors is they don't speed up the cycle rate of your bolt carriers and stuff and they uh, don't gas as much either. So you don't have to really do any adjustments to your gas system or anything like that. So if you think about running suppressed and you just don't, you just want your gun to run, uh, get one of these cans. If you want to mess with your gas and all that stuff, then, I mean, there's a lot of great cans, but as far as this one is that you just don't, you just put it on and it runs. So definitely a can you should be thinking about. Um, flash hider works great. Haven't run it under nods too much, but i um, going to try more because I have my, um, uh, my dual tubes coming in the mail. So super excited. Some good stuff coming out. Uh, OSS can. Amazing cans. So this is it. This is my 10 and a half inch. Um, SB tactical brace on it. Usually run it all the way out. Um, same CMC trigger right here. Um, this has the Radian, um, I think they're Talon Ambies. Ambies. Um, I have a little longer one on this side, so it's a little bit more grippy because it's my not sitting on it like my thumb is. Thumb safety. Um, and I have the Radiant charging handle, but this one is the one that, you can't see it, but it has the slits in it for the gas. Um, I'm running my UH-1 on top, the Vortex UH-1. Amazing sight. The awesome thing about this sight is that it has that little chevron underneath the dot, so it has a holdover within 10 yards. Um, I probably want to get the Gen 2 just to try it under nods. Um, it's kind of pricey just to try on this one. I, you know, obviously it has the um, integrated uh, sling swivel spot, and then I put the other one up top. 
I'm going back and forth on that. Um, I've got the D-Ball I2, which is not the best one. Um, probably go to PEC 15. I don't, I just don't know if I could do them all. So expensive. Maybe. Um, I got the Surefire, uh, just like my other one. I got the dual fuel with the switch on this one. So um, if you guys haven't seen it, this is a one click switch is on. And this is momentary, you just hold it down, it's on. And this one has the flash hider on it. Um, like I said, radiant charging handle. And this, I'm running on this one, uh, the Sharps Rifle Company um, bolt carrier uh, real, um, on, in this, for bolt carrier, have the Sharps, Sharps Rifle Company one. So, um, as you can see, it's a little, these uppers are a little skeletonized. A little bit light, lighter weight. Um, I did say this ballistic advantage, ballistic advantage 10.5. And inside of this one, I am running the um, Geisley. I think it's Super 43, Super 43 um, spring inside of this one. Uh, what else? Mission first grip. And um, I cut down some ergo um, for bad weather gripping so I like to have rail covers so it's a little bit more grippy when it's wet um, you're not always in perfect weather and then if it heats up which these don't heat up that much so this one also has the bolt release on it which um, works pretty well maybe I should train like that Hope to do more videos uh, soon, but like I said, I'm so busy at work doing videos that it's hard to make extra time for videos. Like and hit the subscribe button. If you wanna see anything else, like how I'm changing my plate carrier a little bit, helmet stuff, uh, which I already have, my Team Wendy helmet. I might be getting a new helmet soon. My battle belt set up. Um, chest rigs or any other thing that I'm using if you want to see or the new Victos stuff gear that I am running and how it runs or just like if you want to see the new shoes and how they run you know for size and stuff because some stuff runs a little true to size and some stuff runs about a half size big that's about it hope everyone's good go crush it